Okay. 12 minutes before the hour next, Harrison Ford plays a man under suspicion in prison. Proud to serve all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania. This is News Watch 16 Update. A real life Trek star. And I see thunderstorms out here, but when will they get here? Era in Eastern Europe. Plus, the 50th anniversary will be an Americans only affair. And what do Martha Washington and an Indian have in common? Everybody will see their youngsters playing sports. Good idea. Yes. Now, it sounds like fun. Starts Thanks, next Monday. All right. Okay. And still ahead, meet the man who leads Star Trek into the next generation. But first, we will show you tonight's winning lottery numbers. Good luck with your place. <laughs> the most popular woman in Britain tonight, Princess Diana, the Princess of Wales. She celebrates her 30th birthday tonight. Diana married Prince Charles 10 years ago, and a recent poll in Great Britain shows Diana is the most popular member of the royal family, even more popular than her mother-in-law, Queen Elizabeth. Be careful. Yeah. And finally tonight, if you're a Trekkie, Stand up and be counted. <laughs> By Trekkies, we mean big fans of Star Trek. Tonight, I had a chance to meet Commander William Riker in person. He is a character on the new Star Trek series, Star Trek The Next Generation. To date, we have a known spy on board. And now we have unexplained signals on board. I think it's reasonable to assume that they're related somehow, don't you? Jonathan Frakes is millions of light years away from home every week. Well, at least the character he plays is... Frakes is Commander William Riker, second in command on the Starship Enterprise and executive officer. Dear Melissa, thank you for your note on my father. I did love him. He was a classy guy, the best of his breed. Frakes beamed down to our area for a few days. He rehearses here in the tent on Montage Mountain for the Scranton Public Theater's production of Love Letters. Frakes is really <clears throat> down to earth when he talks about the popular science fiction series. I hate my spacesuit. I don't go that far. I don't believe that I fly a spaceship. Riker is a native of central Pennsylvania. He was born in Belfont and grew up in Bethlehem. The 38-year-old actor admits he was never the Trekkie he is now, and he feels that someday we will boldly go where no one has gone before. The people we're involved with are very involved with NASA, and they claim that a lot of things that we do are things that they plan to do. I didn't want to say anything in there in front of him, but when I think of Star Trek, I think of Captain Kirk and Mr. Spock and Scotty saying, I'm doing the best I can, Captain, and one of these. But Frakes believes there's actually a bigger following now for the new Star Trek than there ever was for the old Star Trek. People are happy to see something hopeful and positive. And that we should be so lucky as to be living in the 24th century the way we live on this show. And what about this season's last episode? The one where you saw Lieutenant Tasha Yar, the character who was killed off some time ago? Did she really die several years ago? I think that is uh, Tasha Yar's daughter. That should clear that up. Tasha Yar's daughter. So you just gave it away. Great. It's your fault. <laughs> Keep watching. <laughs> and I'm sure many Trekkies will keep watching. Oh, will they ever? Good night. Good night. See, the man 